Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. As usual we're gonna take a look at all the majors including gold and oil today. While I roll the intro disclaimer you will have time to hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys a quick look at the calendar and you see that we gonna have a really bumpy week ahead of us next week a lot a lot of uh, major uh, news events uh, starting with um, the week on monday with ism manufacturing pmi we have tuesday aussie cash rate and rate uh, statement wednesday we have from new zealand employment change and unemployment rate ism non-manufacturing uh, pmi from the us thursday we have the super source day for the uk where we're going to have monetary policy report official bank rate vote um, and the official bank rate uh, we do have also on friday um, the uh, monetary policy statement from the aussie we have employment change and un unemployment rate from the cad and we have nfp so it is really packed a packed week and it's gonna be a bumpy one starting uh, the month of august so you need to keep an eye on those events now if we take a look at the calendar uh, at the charts starting with the dixie we see on the we are on the weekly time frame we see that the dixie been uh, very weak so far uh, doing a nice extended move here and did uh, last week did test this uh, important level of uh, structure here where it been uh, tested many times as a support area this was basically the main uh, bottom of the range back to uh, 2015 2016 uh, that we are testing right now so uh, pretty interesting level we saw we got a little bit of a, a bounce back on uh, Friday uh, very hard to know if that w was a end of the week and the end of the month uh, profit taking um, that made this uh, bounce happen to the upside but we're gonna go to lower time frame and try to understand one what happened so on Friday we had this uh, bullish engulfing candle after the retest of this uh, nice uh, and important support level at around 92.50 so this um, is uh, one candle for now so there's nothing to um, about uh, saying we're gonna have a total reversal here or something like that but could be a start for something a correction or something like that these kind of candles happens uh, from time to time we had this one here and we had this one here both of them was bullish engulfing candle but as you see the market did not move much after those before it continued lower so the momentum still for the bears for now as you see the the, the bearish moves are uh, much more uh, stronger momentum while the bullish moves looks like um, uh, textbook corrections then uh, we see the bears t taking control once again so as for now bears are still in control until we see something new here uh, in this uh, momentum and what i want to see for the, the bulls to really start uh, taking over here they need to break at least one of these highs okay so bulls need to push above these highs show us that they really mean it then we're gonna need to see a first higher low to start happening emerging somewhere here and if that would be the case then we could start look for some kind of a correction on the dollar uh, why are we looking on a correction uh, on the dollar well uh, as i said it's been a pretty nice and extended move we reach it a nice support level and we take the fibonacci extension tool for this uh, leg here and see uh, uh, what we have we see that the market did reach a 1618 1.618 so it could be a b c d completion down here and that's why we probably gonna see some kind of a, at least as i said a correction here now after this move to the downside <clears throat> oil still going sideways uh, nothing new here we had a big bounce a uh, big uh, push to the downside which bounced back all the way up uh, still uh, the same range for oil uh, monthly uh, previous month uh, previous month's uh, pivot point down here at around 38.50 is the support level and um, up here 42.50 is the resistance everything is between in between is um, a bit of a 
um, risk uh, taking because the market could easily go up and down inside this uh, mid range here so I would say uh, the best would be to wait for these levels to play a sell or to play a buy until you have a breakout of this range. Gold still bullish. Looking on the weekly time frame, we have a very interesting uh, couple of uh, weekly candles here. It is a parabolic move, so that's why you need to be a little bit careful. And we have an all time high now, um, as you see above. Uh, 1915 which was the all time previous all time high and now the price is at 1975 and I don't think um, the bulls will stop um, before they tag the 2000 before they give us a correction that is my uh, expectation so uh, short term we may see a quick tag toward uh, the uh, 2000 here and then uh, probably you start seeing some kind of a correction. This leg will correct. The question is when and how big of a correction, yeah? Uh, as for now, still um, at the top of the range here is still uh, an interesting level. Keep an eye on that. Uh, 1980 is now <coughs> clear resistance, uh, tested three times without a break above it. But as I said, uh, expect also the market to give you a quick push toward 2000, probably before that correction start happen keep an eye on this uh, very strong divergence we have on the four hour time frame as well and uh, potentially if um, what i'm expecting happening that you see a quick uh, move toward 2000 and then a big rejection then we may start seeing that correction to the downside happening before a continuation all in all we start we're still looking at the bullish market but we are trying to forecast where is the or when the uh, correction uh, gonna start. EURUSD also a uh, very nice uh, bullish move here after uh, also uh, some kind of ABCD move here. Uh, it did tag uh, this uh, important uh, high here uh, last week and then uh, got rejected back. You know that I've talked about uh, the 1.1818 in my uh, last week uh, overview as a potential resistance the market did move actually much higher uh, than that we reached all the way to 1.1910 to then uh, start seeing a little bit of a rejection now this is a nice uh, bearish engulfing candle and it could be a start for uh, some kind of a correction or retest of 40 uh, toward 1.14500 before the continuation so uh, the the possibility here of that correction uh, is uh, still there we do have a little bit of a signals about that we do have a nice bearish divergence on this uh, move here and uh, potentially a break of this uh, trend line uh, could uh, signal the start of that correction any break below these lows and the trend line could mean we are going toward that correction i'm still looking looking at uh, 1.14500 as a potential market objective as a correction before a continuation especially if that break happen yeah i'm not saying the correction will happen but i'm saying we should be ready for the possibility of that move sterling usd also did reach a pretty interesting level it almost uh, reached the uh, market objective I would like to see it tagging a little bit above this high before the rejection to really um, start trust uh, the correction more uh, this candle here could be uh, profit taking since this market been going up all the way here uh, and as I said and the month uh, end of the week could be profit taking so it does not need to be new bears entering the market but all in all uh, i would say keep an eye on the bottom of this uh, channel this trend line here um, because even here would be the same scenario if the market break below the trend line we could look for a lower high to start happening and if that would be the case we could see a correction back down toward this uh, broken structure here this uh, broken structure did not get retested yet and uh, a correction will happen the question is when USD JPA is very strong uh, push to the upside uh, last uh, Friday so after breaking these levels looking on the weekly time frame this is a pretty interesting area and you know that I mentioned 105 as a as an important support but uh, on the daily and the four hour time frame this was broken until Friday we've got a nice 
uh, candle back up now this for me this is not a profit taking move this is more a uh, new uh, bulls entering the market here at uh, down here at around uh, 14 uh, 1. uh, 20 uh, the, the strength of the candle showing the potential of uh, bulls entering the market here and uh, that's why we probably gonna keep an eye on this uh, possible bullish continuation because uh, they did uh, break uh, one high here another high here so uh, since this happened we should be looking for a correction now and if we start seeing a higher low start to happen then uh, potentially we're gonna see a little bit of a bullish move here uh, the correction would be great if it moves all the way down and start giving us a higher low at around 105 that would be a structure level and potential fibonacci level i didn't measure that yet but we could do so and um, yeah at around 618 it's always interesting to look for uh, the end of the correction so uh, keep an eye on that 105 for a potential start of a uh, higher low usd chief also still uh, bearish on all time frames um, until friday we've got this uh, bullish engulfing candle otherwise if we look on the weekly time frame we do have a break below this low here a break below this this low and the market did tag the last line of defense here so this here is a very important level because as you know guys below that it is a pretty empty area and we start looking at these lows to be tested so uh, let's see if the bulls will uh, try to fight back here as for now it doesn't look so we have only one candle that is not enough against such a huge move like this one but it could also be the start of a potential correction before any continuations start happening so on the four hour time frame we're still uh, in a bear structure as well uh, none of these highs uh, is uh, taken out and that need to happen if the bulls rate gonna start uh, start some kind of a reversal so could be could be the start but it is still not there as far as uh, we don't have um, previous highs broken and at least uh, a couple of uh, one or two higher lows we could not call it uh, a um, any reversal here and we should be looking for continuation to the downside if there is no break above previous highs usd cad uh, is looking interesting this one actually did reach uh, the support for a while now stuck here on the daily time frame after reaching this support level the market uh, slowed down and uh, thursday we had a nice bullish engulfing candle friday the market did hold above this support so uh, this um, could be a potential start for a correction looking at how the market is reacting here another strong push um, it looks like uh, we might see uh, some uh, bullish uh, continuation here but they still need to break this previous high as far as this is not broken they will not win this fight so as soon as you see him breaking above this you start looking for a correction for a higher low and potential co uh, continuation to the top of this move uh, at this area okay that is what i'm uh, seeing on this one aussie usd also very bullish but last week uh, the market got stuck in this consolidation friday was a bearish engulfing candle we do see the market uh, trading at an interesting level of uh, potential resistance so uh, we should also keep an eye here for a potential co correction to the downside looking on the four hour time frame we do have a nice strong bearish divergence as well and um, yeah we did not see the market move a lot last week as you see here so this showing that uh, we have um, uh, the 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 bulls probably probably losing some momentum and it could give us a little bit of a correction down at least toward the 200 moving average on the four hour or maybe even lower if uh, that got broken so uh, potentially correction even here uh, start of the week same for new zealand it got stuck here inside this range could not make new highs uh, uh, at this level and uh, friday was a strong bearish engulfing candle that took out all the previous candles before it so if we look on the weekly time frame we see that we do not have a break higher or a higher high happening here on the weekly 
So there is a little bit of a signal uh, for potential reversal and on the one hour time frame is the biggest signal actually and that is this uh, very strong V-shaped formation. So any break below this uh, yearly pivot point uh, next week we could look for a continuation move to the downside on this market as well. So guys, that was it for uh, this week. Thanks a lot. See you next week. Bye-bye.